Lionel Blair. Yes, sir. Give me a fist bump. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, we've got some uh, tweets from our online viewers, and right. they'd like to ask you some burning questions here. Okay, so, um, Megan, who was your closest housemate, and which of them will you meet on the outside world? Ollie, definitely. Yeah, why? Well, he looked after me. He, we shared things. We talked together a lot. Yeah. And I think, I'm much like they age it. Louisa, I loved her. <laughs> she is great, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. You got, you got on really well I as well. Um, okay, Louise Fenwick said, if you could have swapped one of your housemates for another celebrity who's not in the house, who would it be and why? Any I'd celebrity. Have, I would have swapped Jim yeah. for anybody. Anybody. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Good answer. Christina said, uh, if you could permanently live with three of your former housemates, who would it be and why? I imagine you wouldn't permanently live with, with any I couldn't, of them. I'm married. I couldn't permanently exactly. live. Exactly. But, but if, if, hypothetically. Hypothetically, yeah. it would be Ollie. Mm -hmm. It would be Louisa. Yeah. Who I adored. I really did. Mm -hmm. And it would be... Mm, Jim? No, it would not be Jim. <laughs> no, it would not be Jim. And, and friendly as though he was to mm. me when I first came in, I knew he hated it. Right, yeah. And I think he's quite pleased I've gone. Okay, fair enough. We'll stick with just those two then. So Nikki Wheeler is asking, what task would you have given the housemates to do? If you could have given I, them anything. Um, what task? Something crazy. Oh God, something crazy. There's so many things you can make the do. So many things. Although I think the ultimate might have been that most annoying room and you were in there. I mean like No, I would put Jim and Linda. Yeah. And Jim and Linda in the over eighteens room. Whew. It's making me hot thinking about that it, would Lionel. Be very good. It's making me hot thinking about it. Okay. Jack Maple, who will be the entertainer of the house now, now that you've gone? Oh, that's so nice of you, Jim. I, well, I think Ollie's very entertaining. Yeah. I really do. Do you think Ollie? Uh, yes, and I think now I've gone, Jim will be Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. And get all the votes. And that's <laughs> what he's been doing the past few days. And I've noticed it. Love me, love me, love me. Yeah. That's okay. what Interesting. Doing. Ian J. Taylor, which housemate would you snog, marry, or avoid? You're already married, but hypothetically. Hypothetically, snog. Oh, I think uh, Sam. Yeah. You'd and snog I, yes. Sam. Yeah. And who would I marry? Marry. Sam. Sam. And avoid Jim. Jim. I've answered it for you. Actually, well, just one more. Describe your time in the Big Brother house in five abracadabralistic words. That's from Emily Rose. Oh, abracadabra words. Abracadabra. Listic words. So just five. Right. Describe your time in the house it in five words. It was magical, mysterious, mysterious. notorious, gossipalous, gossipalous, and for me, wonderful. And for him, wonderful. Can I just wear your hat? Oh, uh, you know who gave me this? Who? Louisa. Really? It's Louisa's hat. Ah, oh, I thought it was yours. No, it's Louisa. Oh, well. She gave it to me. I've worn a hat that Lionel Blair have worn. And I'll tell I'm you happy. something. Can I tell you, um, you know Ollie's sweater with the stars on it? Yeah. He's just given it to me. See? Yeah. Aww. Well, thank and you, you very much. This. Yeah. this is little Ted. Ooh. And he looks after my wife and I. We've had it for years. Yeah. And he's our little mascot. Say hello to little Ted, That's everybody. That's little Ted. Hello, little we had Ted. a house in Marbella. Hmm. And when we left it, little Ted looked after it. That is so cute. Lionel, you've been an absolute dream. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All the best. <laughs>